All right, Sean, so this is gonna be a fun exercise. Yeah. So we're gonna take everyone through the process. If they were gonna buy fish for the pond, they don't have any fish at all, this is how we start, right? We're gonna gotta begin with Kohaku, right? Right, right. And end, and with, end Kohaku. with Kohaku. If they've watched them, they know. Yeah. So we have five five Kohakus in this bowl, five Kikusuis, five Sankes, and then right. we'll, we'll pick out like a cool one out of each, and then we'll go through this whole process and we'll end up with a bowl full of really beautiful selections. Yeah, sounds like a, okay, sounds, let's do sounds this. like a plan. Let's do the Kohaku. All right, so I've isolated uh, five different Kohaku here. I thought they're all kind of interesting and unique. And, um, and we have a couple different types. You notice uh, we have some Ginrin. Yeah. We've talked about Ginrin before. Uh, we have Deutz, the scaleless Kohaku in here. Uh, and then we have a very traditional type Kohaku here as well. Um, looking at these patterns, uh, this is a very, uh, this is a very like, large fish pattern we talked about, right? Right. Uh, where, um, on the other hand, well, actually, to be honest with you, all these patterns are pretty, pretty nice. Um, I like something kind of interesting on the face, so I really like all three of these koi here. Uh, they have sort of an interesting, those interesting are, pattern on the face. Those are my three favorite for yeah, sure. Yeah, and they're and they're all three steps, like a nice three step kohaku pattern. Uh, so I'm I'm happy with any of those. Which which one do you like, Eric? I like this one. Yeah, me too. It's it's the most unique. It looks uh, okay. Uh, looks dashing. So let's uh, let's put it in a bowl. Let's put, let's separate this guy. Yeah, let's put him in a bowl. I'll let those guys go. Okay, here we have six sankes. Uh, again, we have a mix of scaleless sankes, scaled sankes. Um, it's a nice nice little group of fish. We even have a check this guy out. He's a little little tancho sanke. It's got that nice round circle on the yeah. head. He's, he's adorable. They're really cute. I'm surprised it's still here. Oh, he'll be gone. He'll be gone by the end of the day. I promise. I believe it. <laughs> so again, we're looking for a fish. We're going to imagine this fish growing larger uh, in a couple years. And something that's real, real simple. Black usually gets bigger on fish. It's usually something that comes up and spreads. So on that Tancho Sanke we were talking about, it's sort of that bluish color. Mm -hmm. In two or three years, that'll be a deep, deep black. Um, yeah, has potential to be a cool fish. Yeah, this guy's got a lot of black right now, and so he looks really cool now, but maybe for my taste, it's going to be too much black when it gets bigger. So we'll want a little more white. Yeah. Okay, well, I, I want to just reiterate, this is, this is the point where if you want to get a sanke in your pond, pick out maybe five that kind of appeal to you, get them in a bowl, and then pick your favorite from the bowl. Perfect, exactly, exactly. All right. Am I so, picking the one? Yeah, of course, man, it? it's all you. Come on. I will, right. I will be judging you. <laughs> I know you will. I'm going to take this guy right here. I really I like this guy. Ooh. Oh, what, what was that side no, for? No, no, he's really cool. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kikusui, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people call these Yamabuki Hanawake as well, but both names work. Very cool. All right. I'm feeling insecure. You better pick this one. Well, so I would say most people are going to generate towards the big one just because it's big. And I think that's always a bad choice because uh, these koi are all going to grow really, really fast. You want to go with an interesting, unique pattern. So I'm going to go with this guy here. Oh, I got it. She's sweet. Too sweet. Shike. I'm taking, oh, shike. Taking this one. This one's Shusui. This one's a very cool fish. Yeah, it is. I'm pick this guy out. Maybe not enough red. I sure like him now. Let's go for this one. It has red on the head. I dig it. I dig it. All right, that was fun. We've gone through some varieties. We've got eight different varieties in here, huh? Yeah, look at this bowl. It looks really, really good, huh? Right. And, and I think that's good advice to tell people to like, if you want to fish, that you should get five of them, pick out your favorite, put them in a bowl. And once you have all the varieties in the bowl, man, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. We got a problem though. 
Eight fish. Eight fish is not good. No, no, no. My, my customers tell me we need to have nine fish. Nine. Nine yeah. fish is a really, really important number. But in... seven's okay, right? Yeah, seven's but okay But nine's too. better? Nine's, nine's, nine's perfect. Okay. Uh, and I think, I think in here I have a nice churro becco. Remember Buttercup? Buttercup. Yeah, this does guy. It, does it remind you of Buttercup? This guy reminds me just of Buttercup. How old were you when you bought Buttercup? Uh, I was in probably the fifth grade. That fish is homely looking. I would never pick that fish out. <laughs> <laughs> it really is ugly. You're hurting the fifth grade me right now. That's awesome. But you said you like to pick the ugly ducklings because you see something better, huh? Absolutely, you see absolutely. Like the future. Yeah. Yeah, I just I don't have the vision yet. Nope. One day. One day. One day you'll be as good as the fifth grade Sean. Well. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe when uh, after we do our hundredth koi discussion video, right. I'll be there. Right, right, right. Man, that's awesome. Are these fish still under quarantine? Or are they ready to go? No, they're ready to go home. Man, we should bag them up. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. All right, man. Well, I hope you found this video useful, and you use it as a reference tool the next time you go out to purchase young koi for your pond. I want to say a special thanks to Sean McHenry for taking the time out of his busy day to share his knowledge with us. Until next time, I'm Eric Triplett, the Pond Digger. Thanks for watching.